वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you welcome to cet lab today's experiment is based on rf behavior of capacitor at high frequency in rf circuits capacitors are used for tuning filter matching network and biasing active component such as transistor the capacitance is given as c is epsilon a by figure you are seeing is the equivalent circuit representation of capacitor at high frequency here l represents the parasitic lead inductance the series resistance rs describe the losses in the lead conductor a dielectric loss is accounted by re equals to 1 by ge the lord's tangent tan delta s is given as follows the total impedance of capacitor can thus be given as j omega l plus 1 upon j omega c plus 1 by re we are provided with the problem statement it states that it has awg length sigma frequency and loss tangents as we have already seen in our previous experiment of resistor the reason for awg and how it is calculated this table here will show you the value of awg for 26 value of diameter for 26 awg let's look into the matlab program for this this is the matlab program for capacitor Here, as you have all, you have already known, CLC, clear all, prove all, are the basic functions which we use in MATLAB. C, mu o, l one, a one, all these values are given in the problem statement. Okay, and a one is calculated with the help of AWG, as its diameter obtained is sixty, as you have already seen in the table. Lt1 and Lt2, all these are the loss tangents which are given in the question itself. The value of sigma and f is also given. D equals to log f is a command which used to convert the frequency in log f. L1 and Z1 are the formulas which are obtained from the formula we have already seen. Here, dot is extremely important because unless you With this uh, dot, you can you won't be able to get the proper output. Now, as you as I have already told, what the subplot does, as I have, it is dividing it uh, the grid into four type four different blocks. So one stands for the first one. Title gives the title of the um, diagram. X label gives the X label and Y label gives the Y Y value. And these are all the same repeated things with different values of Lt, that is log tangents. This is what uh, the capacitor program looks like. Now let's run and see how what we get as output. The output obtained here is the RF behavior of capacitor at high frequency. Now, as you can see, this. Ideally, the uh, capacitor should move in a diagonal line, like this. But this motion of capacitor shows that it is a real capacitor. These are the different, uh, like waveforms the capacitor takes at different loss tangents. This is this is all about the RF behavior of capacitors at high frequency. That's all for today.